What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're fishing a billfish tournament this evening. Headed out tonight, running about 120 miles. Fishing all night long, all day tomorrow. This is the Kenny Vines Memorial Tournament out of Tacky Jacks here in Orange Beach. We are on the 27 Black Fin with old Craig. We got Aiden, we got Seth, and Casey. We're gonna go get on tonight. We're loaded down. We got, how much fuel we got? We got 330 three bladders. 330 gallons. 330 <laughs> gallons of fuel. We're loaded down, ready for it. We've, uh, last year we had a trip. We came back in on E and a little sketchy. We're not gonna have all that tonight, but we're gonna get loaded up. We got like a four hour run, try to get some sleep, fish all night. I'll catch y'all. y'all we have made it out here to one of the largest rigs out in the gulf and i've already seen some tuna blowing up we're gonna get rigged up i got a popper ready to go just in case we're also gonna try to jig up some black fin that we can use to chunk tonight and i'll show you how we do all that here in a little while after we get some of the black fin but uh, we're gonna get everything set up ready to go get to fishing it has been an absolute beautiful ride out here perfectly clear skies you can see all of the stars we had the milky way right in line with us unfortunately cameras do not do it justice can't really see it on camera but so cool to soak all that in all right so we got 50 gallons of fuel here we got another one under the floor below one more in the back refuel in here it's time to get to fishing all right well, we're fueling up still and just had a big tuna blow up i got a popper tied on Saltiga right here. See if we can uh, make some crazy stuff happen here. <clears throat> we now have like four other boats on this rig. We're the first one that made it here, but we're one of the furthest away from Orange Beach. I guess everybody made the long run tonight. That way we can work our way in tomorrow if we need to. Lots of fish busting out here right now. <clears throat> There's one of the other boats. Looks like they about got two of the fuel bladders emptied. We still got one more we'll fill up later. We got the deck clear now. Probably gonna try to catch some black fin, do a little bit of chunking. I'm sure y'all can't see in the camera, but there's fish blowing up right in front of us on the other side of this rig. We're gonna pick up, see if we can get over there. A lot of times though, as soon as we get on top of them, they spook. If they're just gonna run circles around this rig, we can chase them. Nothing beats a tuna blow up on a topwater popper in front of one of these giant rigs. See if we can make that happen here tonight. This tuna moves so quick, even though I can't reach to where they were just blowing up, if they happen to be heading, oh, there we go, there we go. There we go, fish on the popper. Yep, uh, I just got off. Oh, God. I got blew up on and pulled hook on him. Can't believe I missed that fish. That didn't seem like a massive blow up. My guess is like a black fin maybe, or a smaller yellow fin. It wasn't, definitely wasn't a hundred pounder or anything. I really wish my GoPro picked up more. It was right by my bait. It, oh, he missed it. He got, he missed it. No, he, yeah, he missed it. One blew up on the popper and freaking missed it. They're blowing up on these flying fish skipping across the top. Oh, <laughs> we finally hooked one. It's a little hard tell. Oh boy. Those are good baits though. Yeah, those are great baits. Put them in the live well. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and drop a jig here next to this rig, see if we can't load up on some black fin tuna. That way we have some bait for these marlin in the morning. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on, baby. Hey, stop. I still got him. Thing took a ton of line out. Let's see if we can get him back up here now. Hammering the jig. Trying to load up on some bait for first thing in the morning. Get some little black fin and the tuna tubes. Craig's on over there. We doubled up here. It's really fun getting out here next to these rigs at night, dropping a jig. Coming on up. All right, there's some color. Oh, 
All right, first bait. He did get sharked a little bit though. Did he get Yeah. He got sharks, so we're gonna save him for some chunk bait. That's a good one there. Right here. All right, at least we got one for the tuna tubes. Throw one on ice. All right, we're gonna send another jig down here. See if we can get them uh, hooked up and keep this one away from the sharks. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. All right, so the drag. These black fan aren't super picky, so really all he wants is this thing moving around in the water down there. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. Come on, baby. I don't know if he's getting chased by a shark. I might have got sharked again. He just felt like he was whooping me and then kind of gave up, but he's getting heavy again. Let's see what we got. See if we can get us another bait here. We only need a couple more black fin. We'll be good for in the morning. Or maybe on a chunk or something, see if we can catch us a yellow fin. Come on, buddy. This is a nice fish, though. They hit it on the way down, just freaking smoked it. I ain't giving up yet. Come on, baby. Yeah, he got him. Yeah, that's a nice fish here. Ah. Come on, baby, get up here. Ah, it just pulled. Dang it. All that time and pulled the freaking hook on him. Aiden's got one on over there, though. Let's see if he can get his up. I screwed the pooch on mine. All right, we're marking a bunch of like 100 to 200. Dang, Aiden pulled the hook on his too. Two good fish on, two hook pulled. No bueno. Well, we got hit on the fall again. Hit on the fall. All right, we're gonna be a little more gentle with this one. He's definitely not as big either. Bring this one straight up. That was a uh, hard tail that got shark there. Let's try that again. Basically just dropping this jig right down in that school. As soon as we go through them, they hit it on the fall. Aiden hooked up again over there. On the fall. There we go again. All right, crank them up, get away from the sharks. I don't really want a hard tail, but at this point we'll take whatever live bait we can get. I don't think we got a black fin. Another hard tail. Let's see what Aiden's got on back here. There you go. Putting the hurting on him. Yeah, he is. Good you got a spirit, bro. Doing good, buddy. Oh! <laughs> you got him. He's been a tug of war for a minute, man. Yeah. He ain't quitting. Oh, he's fighting. He's battling. He got really down. Good job, Aiden, right here. Up and down. Perfect, right? Nice. Got any color yet? See color. Oh, deep down there. Yeah, I see some color. Big color deep down there. Yeah. It's a good fish, man. What we got? Yeah, yeah. Looks long. It does. Oh, I see what he is. <laughs> Is it Bakuda? Uh huh. Bakuda, Kuda. Watch your finger. Holy Watch your finger. Yeah. You want, you want, like we said, right? Look Get them. You want, on the, you want it on the boat? Oh, I don't know about that, huh? Big yeah. Barracuda. Oh, Damn. my God. That's got to be the biggest Barracuda I think I I've ever seen. That's so. a tank, dude. dude nice catch. All right. While they deal with that, I'm going to drop a jig back down. Still trying to catch some bait here. Oh, on the fall. Oh, oh. Big fish. That's a good fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Dang. He's just deleting me. He ain't stopping. He's not stopping. This is a tank. What in the world? Oh, probably a tuna running from a shark. Oh, did he just get sharked? Come on. That was a good hit. There's just so many sharks out here. I guarantee you that was a nice tuna running from a shark. 
get them up here and see what we got. They're still heavy. They're still fighting a little bit too. Got them coming up now. If he got sharks, he might have just got like a little bite out of them. But he freaking hammered it when he hit it. So I think he was just getting chased so bad. Running for his life. Nothing like having to hook it. Dang it! Keep pulling the hook on him. Right here. What the heck? Can't win here tonight. Going back down. I'm on. I'm on. Yep. Dang it! That one cut me off, I think. That might have been another Cuda or Shark. We got something coming up to the back of the boat. Is that the Cuda? Maybe. All right, new jig tied on. We're getting hit quick. I just can't keep them on. Try to make it happen this time. There we go. Got them. On the way up. Yep. For now, I've been good at losing fish tonight. Be a little easier on this one. I don't want him to get shark, but I don't want to pull a hook again. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, baby. Try not to thumb it. Definitely a little black fin. Look at that flying fish right here in the light. Look at that flying fish. That's cool. Right to the light. Right up to the boat. He scooped that one up. Come on, Mr. Blackfin. You can do it, baby. Keep the hook in your mouth, please. Huh? I said, just keep the hook in your mouth, please. Black man, huh? Yep. Yep. Excellent. Nice job. Good job. Nice. Perfect little bait. Good job, Craig. Hell yeah. Woo! Nice job, Brad. Nice job. All right, we got two baits now. We got two baits now. Somebody clean up that deck, man. Right. Finally got one in the boat. A whole one. All right, Jig going back. There's a bait. Dang, it's got some head shakes. I do my best. I'd say it's got some crazy head shakes. It's not like huge by any means, but golly, he's shaking like crazy. Oh, it might have cut me off. Oh, he's, he's still there. He was just swimming up. All right, I'm on. I thought I was off, but I think he was just swimming right at the boat, which was kind of weird. But I still got him. That was very strange. Just swimming straight up from the bottom. Get up here, baby. Ah, it's black there. Get him in there. Get him in there. Get him in there. Get him in there. Nice job. Got him in the net. Got him. Go. Fires. Okay, grab. I got him. One of these sizes is pretty important. I know, man. Hey. Good job. Tuna. Hopefully he'll survive. Right? Nice job. Thanks, sir. Sir, all over. Just out here doing what I can. All right, y'all. So these are the tuna twos we have here. These little tuna, they have got to be swimming all the time or they will die. And so what we have is a ton of water flushing up. We stick them in here upside down. Keeps that water moving quickly through their gills and helps keep these alive. If you were to throw them in a typical live well, they're pretty much gonna instantly die. So this basically imitates them constantly swimming. Oh no, there we go. I just got hammered. This one ain't stopping. I just got freaking hammered. We're getting into some braid that ain't seen daylight in a while. This fish is way down there. Smoking just trans, ugh, swam straight down. I ain't as feeling as big as I thought he was now. Did I get shark? Maybe. I don't know what happened. Might have got shark. I still still feel some weight, but he ain't doing much. There's a big cuda under the boat too. Big barracuda right under the boat. He's feeling heavy now. What is this gonna be? Missing part of his body. <laughs> He's waking up now. Yeah, he got sharks. Oh, he had a good, he had a good one. Got Dang it. Dang, sharks. Barracuda, you shark right there. I know. Everybody go finish when he started. Let's see if that barracuda comes up and eats the rest of them. Got the good one there. You got that one up quick. That yeah, yeah. Nice, huh? yeah. Oh, double it up. Aiden's got one over here, too. 
Nice work, dude. We ought to be good on the black fin now. All right, it is about 4 a.m. Loaded up on bait. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> Gonna try to get about an hour of sleep or so. Wake up, first light, drop some live baits. See if we can't get on some giants. I'll catch y'all in the morning. Well, good morning, y'all. We got a wonderful one hour of sleep. Beautiful sunrise over there. We're about to rig up some baits. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna bridle these, drop down a couple of those blackfin that we caught last night, troll around this rig here, see if we can't get on a big marlin, a big tuna, something like that. We're gonna give that a try for a little while. I've already seen a few things blowing up. If we see anything big blowing up, we'll throw the popper again. Uh, there's some drill ships around here close. If nothing happens here, we'll bounce around to a couple other spots. Uh, there's also Wahoo and Mahi in this tournament as well. Uh, so depending on how all that goes, we may run in a little bit, do a little trolling for some Mahi and some Wahoo. See what all we can get into? Just trying to get some fish on deck. Good morning. <laughs> Good way to wake up, right? Yeah. There's no other way. All right, so we just got that one bridled, got it out on the rigger here. Hey, that gonna drop them down. All right, y'all, first rig drop back here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, troll two baits this morning. All right, y'all, so we've pulled out all the tricks today. We are back at another rig, and we're gonna pull some lures for the first time. Uh, we got a few different things. We got some ballyhoo, we got some tormentors, which are kind of like some uh, flying fish type thing. We got some teasers. All kinds of stuff. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rods in the spread right now. You probably can't really see it, but everything's popping out. We got all the different distances. We're trying to see if we can't bring these fish into our spread. Still trying to make something happen here. So we're gonna troll around, see what we can get into. Go ahead. Now you go ahead. I can't tell what Alright, we got something on trolling here. Whatever it was hitting jumped out of the water. Yeah, I grab it right there, Brad. No, that's a uh, cuda. Cuda. Little Kuda. Get that hook out without getting, getting uh, cutting that shit off. Try to do this without getting bit. Ooh. I said without getting bit. You know that on this? <laughs> Got him. Yeah. All right, good catch, Back Casey. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else is still pretty much out, right? Okay. All right. Not exactly what we're after. Is the camera on? guys we're back at the house now after a very long trip offshore it ended up being like 24 hours from the time we left the dock till the time we got back to the dock it's been overnight about 130 miles offshore at Nakika and uh, pretty tough fishing when we got back the weigh-ins closed you had to be back at the dock by seven we got back a little after six there was only one tuna one wahoo and one mahi weighed out of like 22 boats um, we didn't have anything to weigh in. The blackfin were too small. They had to be at least 20 pounds and not over 20 pounds. I don't know how many boats came in after uh, we got there, but I haven't seen it posted what the actual, I guess, winnings or whatever it was. So it seems like everybody had a tough night of fishing, but at least we got some blackfin. Kelton loves some tuna. The blackfin is still pretty dang good. So uh, we're gonna do a little pan steered. We got the, uh, the patio grill master. Y'all seen us use this before. And uh, we're gonna do a little pan seared tuna. Why do you wanna use that one? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> on the fish, not on the counter. <laughs> the counter is fish though. This one we can put on pretty thick. We wanna get all the sides. 
So we can get We're this. just going to sear it up. Wait, Dad, look, look. It's so right here. Nice and rare. Wait, Dad, let me do it. If y'all haven't already, we did start cutting a YouTube channel. <laughs> it is Catching with Kelton. <laughs> and uh, he's got a new pond in the backyard and all that. So Daddy, I'm going to have a link down below. Dad, someone at church said they watched my videos. Really? And they described too. Who was it? Um, you didn't tell him Another kid? Yeah. You didn't know him? So the kid from church, Kelton doesn't know, I already found his channel. I guess he watches mine or something. But I'll leave down below, we'll catch him with Kelton. I said, have you watched my YouTube channel? And he said, yeah. We got the pan heated up with some oil. We're just going to do a quick sear on both sides here. I said, cook it raw, and it is going to be delicious. It's been a while since we've had some tuna, hasn't it? Dad, can we eat fish, this kind of fish raw? Yeah. <laughs> Can I eat? I already seasoned up. We got a little bit more in the fridge. Maybe we can do it uh, for dinner tonight. Mm. Eat a little raw, a little sushi, raw. sashimi. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite way to prepare tuna. Do you like it raw? Do you like to cook it? Make like a little poke bowl? Let us know. All right, a little flip here. Looking good, smelling good. All right, looks like the tuna is ready here. Get it pulled off, let it cool down a little bit. Smells delicious. All right, we got the tuna done. And it is looking delicious. Nice and rare in the middle. Got a little soy sauce here as well. I'm gonna try some without the soy sauce. You gonna try about a couple? Cheers. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Kelton got him some ranch. I got the soy sauce. <laughs> Nothing like some. Fresh tuna dipped in a whole thing of ranch. My kid will put ranch on everything. Not on hot dog. No hot dog? Just ketchup? This tuna turned out very, very good. Now, you gonna try some? They would like this tuna. Maybe. Okay. Alright, Knox is gonna. I don't know if Knox has ever had tuna. He used to not even eat fish. This may be Knox's first bite of tuna. You gonna use your own for it? Mm -hmm. Not a rip, tater chip. Not a pickle. Why do you want to? Ranch. Had to go in with some ranch. Do you even eat the fish or you just ate the ranch? <laughs> Crazy. No. Ah, you can't steal it all. You like it? Yeah? Good. Mm. Ox is actually eating fish. He likes the tuna. No, you're not eating that big of a piece. Obviously, like yellowfin is more like the prized possession or the, the better fish. And it, it does have, I guess, a little different flavor. If you don't eat tuna a lot, honestly, you probably never even notice the difference between the blackfin and the yellowfin. I guarantee you there's some sushi restaurants that you get blackfin that may be supposed to be yellowfin or whatever. There's probably sushi restaurants that even put bonita in there, who knows. But the blackfin is still very good. If, uh, if you run out there to the rigs and you're not catching a yellow fin, you can usually jig up just about as many black fin as you want at night right there on the rig. So, really good table fare. But uh, we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna finish up some lunch here. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go subscribe. Check out Kelton's channel, Catch It With Kelton. Everything we're doing is linked down below, tackle store, all that, beach ball store. So, if you haven't already checked out our website, go to do all the stuff and the things. But I appreciate it, guys. Till next time. I thought Colton was going to say <laughs> Y'all take care. And this is the best fish ever. Best ever. And my new favorite. Tuna's always been your favorite. We just don't get to eat it a lot. But if we get that new boat, we'll be able to go tuna fishing. And you'll get to catch one. I'm going to eat more tuna. All right. <laughs>